Hi, this is Anil, and I would like to talk about PFSense router mapping for forwarding and Apache HTML system. Uh, the majority of the world websites are on Apache system, and most of them are run on Linux. So uh, it is very important to have some consideration about them. Uh, let's, as uh, I'm going to work on a virtual machine, let's start from scratch. This is our virtual box, and the first step is to uh, go to the website of the PFSense, download it, and uh, install it on the virtual box. But there's an important thing that you, should, you need to bear it in mind. Uh, go to the network of that. There are two adapters. The first one should be the bridge. Generally, it is recommended to do, uh, do the NAT, but in this case, I uh, use this option as bridge because I want the PF sensor uh, has a connection with my laptop, so I use this one and the second adapter, and PF Sense will consider it as its LAN IP address, and the LAN IP address I use this option, host only, and also on my Ubuntu, which the Apache web server on that, so you can here and take a look, just one and host, because they should be in the same LAN with the PF Sense, okay? So this is the main page or start page of the pfSense. If you take a look, there are some sort of options here. We can use them. Um, for example, with seven, uh, let's take a look at the connection with the internet. Google.com, yes, we have the connection. Let's take a look at the connection with the p And this is the connection with the Ubuntu and the IP address of uh, the, oops, the IP address of the van is in the same network with the, my laptop and the router of the house actually in order to get the internet and uh, send it to the users and this is the LAN IP address of that. So, so far this is the PFSense. So let's take a look at uh, Ubuntu system. So we have the Ubuntu here. And I'm here already, so let's take a look at sudo nano, nano index html. So this is the html file of the web page that somehow I manipulate that. I'm not gonna say I this is a result of my work, but anyway, in here look, I shared an image. I'm gonna show you this image. And welcome my territory, the note that I've written on that, and this is the whole thing related to that HTML file. If we do ls here, this is the HTML file, this is the JPEG file that is here, and ifconfig, we can see the IP address, so in the same LAN with the pfSense. And I think we've done good so far, so... Let's come here. This is let me open it again. My name is doing 68 0.138. This is the PFSense web page. We come here and go to the VP and I'm sorry to the NAV, the firewall NAT. Let me uh, temporarily disappear my face. Okay. So can look at here. This is the port forwarding option. I said the van, uh, whoever try to SSH HTTP and HTTPS, the van interface of the system, uh, forward that towards forward that port towards this IP address, which is the IP address of the Ubuntu. That uh, Apache system is on that. So whoever try to uh, get to the van interface of the pfSense router will automatically direct towards the Ubuntu. This is the main point that is very important. You have to consider that, okay? So let's come here. This is the actually final check that I'm gonna do that. Let's have a look here. So the IP address of the pfSense uh, look, this is IP address of my system, 
and this IP, the WAN IP address. So as they are in the same network, I can browse that. So I'm gonna put it here and here. So open up a new web page. 192.168.0.138. Look, this is an new web page and welcome to my territory. <laughs> and this is the picture that I put there. So this is the whole things that I wanted to say related to HTML and PFSense routing port providing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a nice day everyone.